There's a lot going on in and around Omaha. There's one great place to keep track of it all, Metro Quarterly. Well, each edition of the magazine includes a letter from the publisher. Her name is Andy Hoy. And her is here. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Andy. Andy. Good to Good see you. Morning. Hey, when you, were, when you were thinking about what you want to talk about this morning, you you were kind of brainstorming yeah, yesterday and you decided you wanted to go over the letter right yeah. tell us about the letter what exactly is it because you're talking about enjoying the journey mm -hmm. you know and I think for me you know I'm really busy and everybody's busy I know you guys are busy and I have just a quick story I remember the the morning of our event in, in January the big event yeah we had 350 yeah. 400 people coming to celebrate and I was just stressing out and I was so in my head and I just got this message. I love when I get messages from above. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Andy, today is enjoy the journey day. Mm -hmm. And I sat there for a minute and I realized that if I just kind of kept going where I was going in my head, the whole day would have passed. Mm -hmm. And I, it would have, I would not have even, I wouldn't have had a chance to really enjoy mm -hmm. it. And, and that happens every day in life. We're all yes. susceptible to that. I mean, yeah. We do but it every day. What do you do when you know you're, you're getting off track and not just the day where the, you know, it's a, it's a big event. Yeah. But it's the other stuff too in between. Yeah. I think, and that's even the, the stuff that almost really throws us off and, mm -hmm. and, and, and can take hold. So one of the things as simple as it is, is breathe. You know, mm -hmm. I spend a lot of time just taking deep breaths and it kind of gets me back into my, my present body. Yeah. And um, meditating every morning start, starts my day mm -hmm. in a really every amazing, day. every day. Yeah. So if I don't do it, it throws me off. Um, visualizing, I spend a lot of time visualizing what I want to be doing or how I want to be feeling or, or you know, what I want to be, wearing and feeling in my body because I mean I think a lot of us you know we want to lose weight we want to do this and that and so I spent a lot of time just feeling good and kind of pre for, forecasting forward mm -hmm. there's a saying that says you can't see the trees when you're in the forest right yeah. so how do you know when you're when you feel like you're kind of getting off track a little bit you know a lot of times for me my day just it just gets really hectic and it's very conflictive so when you're not going with the flow and really kind of looking around you, it gets very troublesome. And again, you, you're, you're in the evening, the day's over, and you're just waiting for the next day. So there's just some internal, I think listening internally mm -hmm. is really important for everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where you can gauge where you're at. How does yeah. Facebook play in all this? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll tackle that, we'll tackle I, uh, that later. You know what? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's well, a good point. Andy uses it for good. <laughs> and yeah. one of the things that she does through social media is promoting Mad 25. And this was a campaign yeah. that began last year and it was really only supposed to last through 2016, yes. I think, when you set yeah. up. But it turned out so well. You were like, we can't stop this going. now. So yeah. your second challenge of this year is in the books. How'd yes. it go? Um, trek up the tower. That's 870 <laughs> steps up the First National Bank Tower. Uh -huh. That was a challenge. Uh -huh. I think uh -huh. out of all these, that's the hardest. How difficult is it? I mean, compared to doing a 5K or something like that. It is hard. I was actually woke up that morning and thought to myself, why did I agree to do this is again? And I don't typically think that. Is it your legs or is it your um, breathing? What, what's what's it's, the hard part? It's, a lot of it's your heart, your heart rate. It depends yeah. on where you are physically. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit of both, but I just took it slow and I had my Fitbit on and I was monitoring my heart rate and, and it, enjoying the process mm -hmm. and not uh -huh. you know just wanting to make it to the top mm -hmm. yeah. and when you're up there you're just like ah yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you've got a couple of events coming up on this calendar maybe not quite as hard but still you're yeah. getting out and moving because that's the whole point of yeah it. so heat the streets is coming up on saturday so that's a 5k mm -hmm. i'm really looking forward to that midtown crossing that that route is challenging as well but looking forward to it and then on the 23rd breathe and brew spring yoga series um so that's something that we're going to be doing at at Lucky Bucket Brewery. Beer and yoga. Yeah, beer and yoga. <laughs> yeah, beer and yoga. yoga I, can, I can get on board with that. Move our body around. Uh, you have a top five list. I do have a week. top five list. Top five this week. So lots of fun stuff coming up. We're getting into the season. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to put the 2000 Young Professional Summit because today's the last day to register, and that is just a phenomenal event, um, whether you're a YP or not. And then the Imagine Banquet with Dr. Tony Evans for Ashore Women's Center. Um, and then on the 25th, one of my faves, Art Venture, Girl Scouts, Spirit of Nebraska. That's just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, Opera Omaha is having their spring mm -hmm. gala also the evening of the 25th. And then on the 31st, 
Bubbly with Barbara at the Omaha Community Playhouse. I know you've had um, Camille Matoyer Moton on, yes. and she's she's going to be. Oh, we love Camille. Her and friends she's are going to be singing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's on the thirty first. Also at the Omaha Community Playhouse, and this we talked about it this week on the show. Did you? Okay, we awesome. Rock, Rock of Ages. Yeah. And it starts here, opens tomorrow, runs yep. through April 2nd, yep. and you're giving away tickets We're so give a, couple away a couple of folks tickets. can go. Yeah, so I was just reading over this. I want to see this. I mean, this is all about the, the 80s. The, the 80s, 80s. Yep. you know, well, that, that that's where right? my, you know. The music, the that hair, was the whole nine years. years. Mm -hmm. and, um, that's when you grew up? You're a product of the 80s? Yeah, I graduated in 84. So yeah. you need a keyword in order to register to win those two tickets. So it's rockin'. And you'll go to spiritofomaha.com before Monday, March 6th. Look for the morning blend button on the left side of that homepage. You'll click there and that'll take you straight through. And uh, good luck to you. We'd love to see somebody go at no cost mm -hmm. on account of Andy Hoig and company at Metro Quarterly. Spiritofomaha.com, again, the website. Thanks, Andy. You're welcome. Good, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good chat. yeah, I enjoy just yeah, talking just chatting. instead yeah. of like, you know, we try we to pack like in this, so much. Yeah. So it's good to visit. Good stuff. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, we celebrated.